Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hi, everybody. How are you all doing? Good? Oh, that's great. Okay, so today this is your last class of this series. And I thought, why not make it super interesting? So today we are going to be doing a topic which you all might have not heard of before. You all may have heard of dinosaurs though, which are a very, which is a very, very crucial part of the story. Okay, without the dinosaurs, I don't think the story would have been complete. Okay, so coming back to the story, have you all heard of archaeologists? Yeah, oh, alien term, right? Okay, so let me explain it. Archaeologists are people who dig the earth or who dig the ground in general to know what was there in the history. For example, uh, mummies. So in Egypt, they have pyramids, right? So sometimes inside the pyramid in the ground, they have these uh, coffins with mummies inside right we have seen so many cartoons with mummies and then turning into zombies and all these things right so not only that um you already do that in history like um Mohenjo-daro and Harappa civilization. So all these, all the fossils and different type of utensils and all, all of them were found under the surface of the earth. Okay, and they did a lot of digging and they found, oh, this was the type of bowl that was used in previous times. Oh, this was, how did they find dinosaurs? Is that an imagination? No, so they dug the earth and they found the bones of a huge animal. And then when they put all the bones together and said them, they found out that it was a dinosaur. So that's how, you know, you find everything. And that's what we are going to do in today's story. We are going to find a number of bones and then we're going to try and figure out what animal can it be. Shall we do that? Do you all want to go on the excavation with me? Yes? Okay, great. So is everyone ready for today's story? Wow. Okay, so let's get started. Next. 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 Greatest paleontologist in the world. <sighs> Perfect. What if we try? 
tried it a different way. If you would just let me know, hey, what are you doing? <gasps> this is why women don't belong in science. Now clean this mess up. It's all you're good for after all. Okay, so let's stop over here and let's rewind a little bit and let's see what actually happened. So, the name of the story is Breaking Ground. Now, why is it named Breaking Ground? Like I told you, if we need to find the remains of any animal or any civilization that was there before ours, we need to dig the ground. So, digging the ground can also be called breaking ground. And there's another reason why this has been named, the story has been given this name that I'll explain later on. Okay, once we come to that part. Next. So, if you look at this picture, what do you think this is? In the chat box, everybody in the chat box? Okay, these look like bones, but can you figure out what animal's bone these are? Animal's bones these are? Maybe with the next picture. Let's try that. Next. Next. Maybe next. Okay, now this is easy to guess. Can you guess? Okay, most of you all have got it right. Yes, because we saw the movie a little, we went a little ahead. Okay, so these are the bones of dinosaurs. Correct. Let's go ahead. So, you know, those uh, images that you have, with the help of those, you can actually, the bones that you get, you can actually place them together and form the dinosaur. Like uh, in many museums, they have actually rebuilt the structure of dinosaur with the help of those bones by preserving it. Isn't that amazing? Yes? Okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to be the greatest paleontologist in the world. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now according to this man, the way he has placed the bones is just perfect. But do you think it's perfect? I think he's placed it all wrong. I think the body's part that the main body is actually the skull and what he's done is done completely wrong and that's what the girl tries to tell him you know that I think we can now she does not want to be rude that's why she said that maybe we can try it in another way but this man is so arrogant that he refused outright okay let's have a look at it now what if we tried it a different way so she she just wanted to put forth her point that he has done it wrong. So instead of saying you are wrong, what she said is, why don't we try it a different way? So it's a very polite way of saying that you are wrong. If you would just like, hey, what are you doing? <gasps> this is why women don't belong in science. Now clean this mess up. It's all you're good for after all. Do you think this man is intelligent? I think he's super dumb because he's firstly. He placed all the bones wrong even after having the map, uh, the structure of the dinosaur. Secondly, um, he's being very rude to this girl. You know when someone puts 
put forth the point in front of you it's your duty to listen to that person and try it out if you don't like it it's okay but you should always give it a try okay so he's being very arrogant and rude what do you mean by arrogant like not listening to others and just doing what you want looking down on others okay so this girl thought why don't i try since he's refusing he's one let me try and place all the bones together and can you see she placed all the bones correctly and with magic the dinosaur did not come alive but with magical powers it started moving there is no flesh right like we are alive because we have some flesh on our body can you see my skin can you see the dinosaur skin no so he's not alive but with some magical powers he can start he started moving and he went missing And luckily this is a baby dinosaur so there's nothing to worry about huh? she was trying to save the little dinosaur from the arrogant man and it started running away because he thought now see dinosaurs have got extinct what do you mean by extinct they no longer exist not even one dinosaur so obviously they feel like humans are the threat right to them so he was just running away from humans and he managed to escape through small hole in the rocks let's see what she can do she tried entering now we stopped over here so now you tell me do you think she'll be able to enter the cave in the chat box yes or no okay let's see what happens let's look at the story that lies ahead for us she entered do you think she'll be able to find the baby dinosaur again and take him back Do you think she'll be able to save the baby dinosaur from the arrogant man? Because after all, she's the one who, you know, restructured it properly, and the arrogant man was—he just made I don't know what out of it, right? Okay, let's have a look at it. Will she get the credit? Let's see. my god can you see a full fledged huge dinosaur okay let's see whether this will also come whether this will also start moving or not it cannot come to life right
Okay. So let's come back to where we stopped. So she was trying to enter and now we know she successfully entered the game. And you know why I think the baby dinosaur got her into this cave was because he wanted to help her discover the huge dinosaur. Maybe the mummy dinosaur? Anyway, it's running till she reached this place where the mummy dinosaur was. And she finally found the huge mummy dinosaur. Can you see how the baby dinosaur is loving the mummy dinosaur? And with the love, even the mummy dinosaur started to move. That's how powerful love is. And here came the arrogant man. He was so selfish that even though this girl, this lady discovered the dinosaur and placed all of them together, he was the one who wanted to take all the credit. Whatever society sees this, my greatest discovery yet, take my photograph. Your discovery? And she's like, are you sure that's your discovery? Why am I supposed to take a photo of you with the dinosaur? Yes, my greatest discovery. No. What do you mean, Flora? And she broke the camera because that was enough. She'd taken enough of this man's rudeness. You can't take this from me. This is my find, not yours. Take? And she said, this is my find. Of course it was hers because she was the one who... Follow the baby dinosaur and reach the huge dinosaur. It can be mummy or daddy dinosaur. Any one of them. This from you. Do you really think anyone will believe you found this? No. You're a woman. You work for me. And everything you do, isn't it? And he said that why would someone believe you? Obviously, because he was the one who was a senior and she was an assistant or a junior. So whatever the senior says, people are going to believe that person, right? And moreover, he said that you're a girl, you're a woman. Why will the society believe you? Is that right? No. See, most of your teachers are girls. Your mummy takes care of you at home. Papa's always to work. Does not mean any of them are less. Both of them are equal. They both have their equal, uh, they both have equal powers, equal duties. It's just the way of working is very different. So never look down on any one of them. Neither your mummy nor your papa. This is all wrong. And he's like, who set these bones together? This is all wrong. And he started breaking them. And the dinosaur was in pain. And that's when the parent dinosaur thought that, okay, I've had enough. My child has had enough. Now this man really needs to be taught a lesson. And he ate him up. See? Now if you look at this very carefully, the dinosaurs, or for that matter, any animal, won't harm you till the time you don't harm them. Now see, if you look at the girl, she got the bones together, took care of the baby dinosaur. Did the dinosaur hurt? Did any of the dinosaurs hurt her? No. But when the parents saw that, okay, this man is trying to harm my kid, my child, that's when the parent dinosaur ate that man up, right? Same rule applies for any animal. So on the road, if you see a dog, do not throw stones. Or if you do not disturb him, he won't bite you, nor run behind you. But the moment you try to disturb them, they're going to come for you. And here she is setting up, setting up another dinosaur. With, with her group, which is 
a complete group of females. Now, when she said, let's break the ground, break the ground over here. Firstly, it means like, let's dig the ground and find the history. Second thing, I told you, I'll tell you another meaning later. Second thing is the man said that uh, there is no place for women in the field of science. That is again a stereotype that we need to break. So let's break the ground. Got it? Okay, very good. So now I have an interesting quiz for you. So all you need to do is click on the link in the chat section and get started. So I'll give you two minutes. There are only four questions and then we go ahead. I have some super interesting activity for you all. Yes? Great. Let's do that. So did you like this story? This was like the last story of the series. Yes? Great. So... Have you all ever seen any dinosaur of bones in real life, like in any museum or something? Yeah? Oh, wow. So all those who have, can you put them in the chat box where you all have seen? So the others also, when they visit that place, they get the chance of having a look at it. Okay, real bones, okay? We don't want the artificial ones. There are many places which have artificial or dummy bones. We want the real ones. If you all know, if you all have any idea like any museum or uh, any science lab, which they can go and visit. Okay. Oh, that's great. So everyone, you can have a look at the chat section once you're done. So you can go and have a look if you'll ever visit that place. And you'll know once you're done, just show me a thumbs up or raise your hand so that I know you're done. So then we can move ahead, okay? I'll solve the quiz together with you all and then we go ahead. Okay, is everybody done? Okay, great. Let's go ahead and solve the quiz together. Okay, can everyone see my screen? Great, let's get started. First question, who are archaeologists? So I, I had explained this in the start. Let's see. Humans who study mountains? I don't think so. Humans who study dinosaurs? Maybe. Humans who dig the ground to find history? Or the last one is humans who study stars? So your correct answer is humans who dig the ground to find history. They are called archaeologists. I hope you've got it right and you didn't get confused with the dinosaur ones. Very good. Okay. Whose bones are these? Dog, fish, dinosaur, bird. This is pretty easy. We had it in the story as well. Dinosaur. Very good. Next one. Select a suitable adjective for the male archaeologist. Now, what do you mean by adjective? A word that describes the male archaeologist. Let's start. The first word is arrogant. Next word is young, intelligent or observant. He's not observant because he did not follow the pattern and arrange them in the order. Neither is he intelligent. He was old and not young. So the only correct answer over here is arrogant. Very good. Okay. Let's come to the last question. Give a synonym for intelligence. Synonym means words which mean the same okay so is it smart witted dumb silent or curious curious means who wants to know something silent means who stays quiet dumb means who has no knowledge so the only correct answer for synonym of intelligence is smart witted got it everybody okay good job everybody so yes we are done with the quiz and now let's move on to today's activity. 
So for today's activity, I have selected something super interesting for you all, which is related to dinosaurs. But it is not an origami like always. Yes, sorry. So it is not an origami like always. It's a craft today. So how many of you are excited for it? Okay, what if I tell you what we are doing? Maybe then your excitement can grow more. So today we are going to make a dinosaur headband. It'll make you look like a dinosaur with those pokey pokey things. So are you ready for it? Yes. Shall I show it to you all? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to share how we are going to make it today and you'll have to follow the steps. I hope all your supplies are ready with you all. Great. Let's go ahead. Okay. So today we are going to be making a dinosaur headband, a spiky dinosaur headband. For that, we will be needing a pair of scissors glue and a few thick strips of paper and an A4 sheet. If you don't have A4 sheet, that is perfectly okay. Multiple number of strips would do good. No problem. You can make it even with the newspaper if you don't have any colored paper. Absolutely okay. It's going to work just same and look beautiful. Let's get started. So over here I have a few sticks, scissors and glue. My first step is I'm going to take one of these strips and I'm going to combine another strip with it because I need to make a headband and I cannot make a headband with one strip, right? Neither will it fit y'all nor me. So we are going to combine two strips. I'm placing glue on one end and I'm going to stick the other end, the, the other end of the strip together. Let's do that everybody. Yes, done. Okay, great. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take the glue and paste, apply it on the other side as well. I'm going to take the other side and stick it together. Done. Great. Now for doing this, uh, the most ideal thing would be to measure where you're supposed to stick it. So take the paper strip around your head and measure where you need to apply glue. That would be, that would be the most ideal thing to do. Done. Okay, great. Let's go ahead. Now we need to make a band for the spikes. So I'm going to take another strip and I'm going to apply glue on both the sides. Okay, just one of them. I'm going to stick it on the inside of the headband. Can you see how I've done it? Yes. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to take this strip. I'm going to apply glue on both the sides and I'm going to stick it from within the headband on the inside. Done? Okay. For the next one, I'm going to apply glue only on one side. Only on one side. And I'm going to stick it on the outer part of one of the sides. So this is how the tail is going to look. The dinosaur's spiky tail. Yes? Done? Okay. Now let's make the spikes. So I'm going to take an A4 size sheet and I'm going to fold it. A decent enough big fold. Can you see how I've done it? Okay. Great. Now to make the spikes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some different shape pieces, like spiky shape pieces. Can you see? And I am I've, when I'm folding it, I'm going to make sure that the folded part remains intact while cutting so that I can use it to stick the edges. Like I'll just show it to you. Can you see this part? The center part will go below the band and I'm just going to stick the edges the top edges together so to give a spiky look okay got it so now what you need to do is you need to make at least 10 to 12 of these spikes i'm just going to fast forward a little i'm going to do it a little quickly i can keep creating it okay so i'm just going to show you how you're supposed to do it so quickly let's do that so i'm going to keep making these maybe just complete the entire sheet when you come to the other side, fold it again so you have that. Okay, make sure you have like plenty of them so that it looks nice. Now, let's start sticking them. So, I'm going to take 
my glue and just apply it on one of the triangle tops. I'm going to take it from below and I'm going to paste the glue, stick it together, stick the top part together. Can you see how I did it? Great. Make sure you're pasted properly and your spike is ready. Let's continue and complete the entire head. So I'm going to repeat the same process and the same process for the tail as well. So this is how it is going to look and you're ready with your dinosaur headband. Yes, so this was really easy. If you have missed on anything, I'm going to show it to you all again. Yes, so let's get started. Pay attention. If you have missed anything, cover it up this time. It's a very easy and quick craft. So you need a pair of scissors, glue, and some strips. I'm going to take glue. I'm just going to go a little faster since I've got the hang of it now. I'm going to take one thick strip and paste another one on top of it. Now take the glue and paste it on another side and bring the other edge to make a headband. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take another strip and apply glue on both the edges. I'm going to paste it on the inside of my headband. Now this will help me form the spikes on the top of my head. Take the last strip paste glue on one of the sides and stick it on the outside of one of the edges. Now this will make the tail. To make the spikes, I'm going to fold my A4 size sheet and I'm going to start cutting some spikes. Now make sure your folded part remains intact. You all can even draw it first and then cut it. Okay, so this is how it's going to look and this is how you're supposed to paste it and make sure the size is okay. So first cut one of them and check. Oh, perfect size. Keep con Continue and keep cutting. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and I'm going to show what I'm going to do next. So I made around 10 to 12 of these. You need to cover the entire headgear and the tail. So you need enough spikes. Make sure you all have enough spikes. Now let's see how you're supposed to paste it. I'm going to apply glue on one of the triangular parts and I'm going to press the edges together. This is how it's going to look. I'm just going to continue this process till the tip of the tail. Okay, right till the tip of the tail. Keep continuing it. You can use any color. You can even make a multicolored thing. There's no problem. Okay. So this is how it's going to look. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Okay, great. So you all learned a real quick craft today. I hope you all, I hope you all liked it. Yes. Oh, that's great. Okay, so this was the last episode of class of the series. And um, I hope you liked the entire episode. Yes. Today we learned something new about the archaeologists. Yes, that's great. Okay, so we're going to be coming up with a real fun series from next week. I hope you'll attend it. Yes, make sure you'll make the submission because only if you'll attended all four class and make all submissions. That means this is your last submission. If you'll submit it, you all will get your certificates, right? And we won them. Why not? So I'll see you in the next series. Bye. Hi, everyone. We are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended, which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. 
you can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I am eagerly looking 